Hey there and welcome to One Day at a Time. Uh, today we're going to strip this door and get it ready for a really nice coat of paint. Uh, so far on this door we've had to do a little Bondo work where they drilled some holes into it. And uh, it was an oil base paint. It was originally used on it. And then uh, when they sold this uh, home to me they threw up some cheap latex paint. And of course it doesn't stick but it'll start peeling. As you can see here you can just peel the paint right off paint over that it's not going to last long two years the whole thing will be peeling up again what you want to do is you want to get that down to a, a, a base coat where you can get a good primer on it and then repaint I tried to do that yesterday with my orbital and it blew up in my hand sometimes they do that so today I'm going to take a different tact that was a little bit too much manual labor and stripping it with my fingers was way too much manual labor I'm going to use some citrus strip today I'm going to let the chemicals do the work for me and hopefully it'll work out better than me grinding away on this door. I'll show you guys how it works as we go. One of the first things you want to do is get all the hardware off the door and then you want to make sure that you uh, mask up the bottom because it's going to drip some chemicals and you don't want those chemicals to get onto any of your other surfaces. What's really smart to do is to also put something in that's going to hold the door tight so that you don't have problems with the door closing on you with those chemicals. <laughs> You're going to want to apply some eye protection, some hand protection, because you are working with chemicals. And you also want to mask off the areas that you don't intend getting paint on. We're going to go ahead and tape up uh, the center window here. It's kind of a polymer plastic, so I'm not quite sure how that chemical will react with this. So we're going to go ahead and try to seal it up. <laughs> Citrus strip, uh, paint and varnish stripping gel strips multiple layers. It says protect hands, chemical resistant gloves. Whoops. Shake well, pour in a container, apply with paintbrush. After 30 minutes, up to 24 hours, scrape small test areas, see if it's ready for removal. Stubborn areas, use abrasive stripping pad dipped in citrus strip. A toothbrush, toothpick, stripping brush will help remove old finish, buried in recess. Use paint stripper wash or odorless mineral spirits with an abrasive stripping pad to loosen remaining residue surface. And it wants you to uh, allow the liquid to evaporate and residue to dry outdoors, then dispose in accordance with local state and federal regulation. So when this stuff comes down onto this plastic here, I'll let it dry and then I'm going to wrap it all up, tie it up, and dispose of it properly. I've applied a full coat across the door. What I can see already is paint is starting to peel up. There is where it's water-based paint. Uh, I don't see any of the oil base lifting just yet, but I'm guessing that's going to take a little while longer. Uh, so I'm just making sure that it's a good thick coat, and then we're going to leave it be and let it sit for an hour or two, okay? So I'm just going to show you uh, how easy it is to really just come in here and get a whole nice big swath off. Last night, if you saw me here rolling this off with my fingers, you would laugh. A DIY guy that uh, is figuring it out on your own, oftentimes you'll spend hours doing something that could take you minutes if you knew the right way to do it. It's a constant evolution of learning, and it's okay to fail. I, I think that's the most important thing about uh, building homes on your own and remodeling homes by yourself is that you got to be okay with uh, the fact that you just spend three days putting up a wall and then realize you forgot something and you got to take it back down and put it back together you know it happens but you're doing it yourself and you're learning and you're not going to do it twice so well you're not going to do it again twice so these top layers of both uh latex and oil-based paint are coming up pretty quickly this bottom coat this is like a primer of this door and this door is you know 50 years old plus it comes off a little bit more difficult, and I do want it off. I think what I'm going to do is instead of trying to work it, take it off slowly like this, I'm going to go ahead and peel all of the paint off the door, leave that, and give it another coat and let that sit because I think that will come off a lot quicker with its own coat. So we took the scraper as far as it's going to go. Trying to scrape this base primer coat off takes a little bit more effort. So what we're going to do now, uh, as per directions, we're going to add a little bit of the citrus strip onto an abrasive pad uh, and I'll put it on my corner grinder and we're going to apply it onto the door and you'll see that 
it just comes right off with no effort whatsoever. Look at that, right back to the base metal. You could not ask for a cleaner job. And I'm very, very happy with Citrus Strip. Uh, it has a pleasant smell to it, but yeah, this door is gonna clean up real nice and I'm gonna make it look brand new again. So I hope that has helped you in your door stripping adventure. And uh, just remember, take it one day at a time. It's okay to make a mistake. And the only thing that's important is you just get up every day and keep at it. Well, one of the fun things about this channel is you get to watch me make mistakes. So you don't have to. I put the citrus strip on the abrasive pad and used it with this and it worked fine. The pad started deteriorating and I put it down, I scraped the rest and I went back to use this and the pad came off. Now if you look, what's happened is, is the acid has eaten up the Velcro bristles on the corner grinder. So now my, my corner sander has no more Velcro bristles. Alright, so one of my friends on Facebook who's uh, been in the business says, why don't you take your power washer out and hit it? So now I got the power washer out and I'm hitting it. It's pretty good, but it's a electric power washer, so it doesn't really give a huge amount of PSI. It says 1800, but I doubt it gives that much. So, you can see, it takes it off a little slow, but it does the trick. It'll dilute the acid in the yard, so it won't kill too much grass, and it'll give it a nice finish. 